Animal free, am I right? Family fun and reviews. Animal free, am I right? Swedish 24 hour vegetarian ration. We are so excited and thank you, Philip. Hey everybody, this is Ben Workman from Animal Free MRE, and I'm joined here with my two special guests. Penny. And? Lily. And hey, this is the uh, second ration. We had a first one from Brent Temple. Our good buddy Brent Temple sent us the first one. It was the first Swedish vegetarian ration we've ever had before. It was amazing. And luckily our friend Philip from Facebook sent us these uh, other uh, beautiful uh, box of treats. He sent us a vegan Swedish ration and also the number two Swedish 24 hour ration. These things are huge. This one, I have to say, was probably like an entree or a side bigger than the number one menu. This thing's huge. What do you guys think about this? It looks pretty amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. It looks so snacky delicious. Well, look at the peanuts. Look at all the treats. Look at all the entrees. What do you think about that, Penny? Good. And my name is Poop Penny. Oh my goodness, your not, <laughs> name is not Poop Penny. We had the salted peanuts, we had the spoon, we had the candy, we had the coffee. Is my daughter silly? We have the tissues, we got the crunchy cereal bar that's a caramel flavored. We have the disinfected wipes, we have the cake orange flavored. We have the biscuits whole grain, we have the sunflowers, they're slightly salted. We have the fruit muesli, we have the chocolate, we have the nut cream. <laughs> Isotonic beverage, isotonic beverage, and another isotonic beverage. Oh, excuse me, that's the cocoa flavored one. And here we have Yoko yogurt and flakes, plus a fruit cereal bar and a fruit and nuts with bar and fruit and nuts with bar, that was funny. A mint protein bar, a regular protein bar, and a toffee flavored protein bar, plus a chocolate bar. Lots of bars, lots of spreads, lots of entrees, a few sides. Let's let's just uh, spread it out here. Give the give the folks an idea of what they got. What do you think? Ooh, what do you think that? That, that's, that's a lot of food, huh? That would last me at least a couple of days. That's a very fair assessment. What do you think about that cute little shot of you, Penny, as you faded away? It tasted like poop. Would you stop with the poop thing? It tasted delicious. This is one of our favorite rations we've ever had. Oh, look at the magic. Here we go. Cold water. No, chick, chick. Let it sit. Like 10 minutes. And we're back. Lily is embarrassed because her dad sang a really bad song. He did some magic. We're doing some magic and... Breakfast! Stop doing that to my face. This is breakfast, folks, and it's going to taste really good. Here we go. Look at all those coffees. Look at all those mints. Look at the disinfectant wipes. I'm going to give that gum to Penny and Robbie so they can uh, test that stuff out. Here we go. I'm going to break into this coffee. This stuff was quite delicious. What did you think about the coffee, Penny? Mm, I did not taste it. That's very fair and honest of you. And hey, now, don't say anything. Here we go. Listen, listen, listen. Ah, that beautiful chime. You gotta like that. And that coffee is ridiculously smooth, low acidity, and does not taste like instant coffee. I, w I was quite impressed. The, the German, the Swedish, and the Norwegian coffees are probably three of my favorites. Hands down. And minus the Spanish. The Spanish espresso and Spanish coffee is top-notch also. So these are the isotonic beverages. Uh, we got the proper amount of water. I had to drink a little bit down. So it was the exact amount. I believe it was 220 mils, which is roughly like a, a cup and a half of water. And this one, I, I don't remember if it was apple, pineapple, or what the other flavor was, but there's three flavors of isotonic beverages. And we got into this one. I wish there was a way we could fast forward the video because it's really boring to watch people do this. What do you think? I have no idea. What do you think? Meh. They're really excited to do the voiceover. What, mm -hmm. Daddy? Nothing. Oh my goodness, you guys are the worst. <laughs> oh, look at this, Robbie drinking the ice talking beverage. Boom, Robbie! That looks like the pineapple. I'm guessing that's, the, or that could even be the green apple. Yeah, it's the pineapple. Maybe they put the pineapple with the green apple. That's genius. You're so smart. Eddie. Oh, nut cream! Here we go! And do not break my unicorn headband, Lily. Yeah, don't don't break her unicorn headband, Lily. 
So this uh, nut cream, it was, it was like a hazelnut and chocolate spread. It was very similar to Nutella. But man, those crackers were flipping amazing. Talk about whole grain, light, fluffy, and yet crunchy. They were they were delish. You're making my mouth water. Stop. <laughs> well, thanks. That's the whole point is to give a fair and a good description of the food. And it was delicious. It was very, very good. Penny, what did you think about those crackers? You didn't mind them, right? Even though they were very whole grain, you thought they were pretty good, right? They're making me cry to death. <laughs> really? That, that's, they're going to make you cry to death? <laughs> You're such a goof. And the cool part about the napkins here, you can use those for your nose, for your hose, and for anything else. I don't know why I said hose. I apologize. That was a bad, I know, uh, embarrassing. Those are great napkins, and there's quite a few. Quite a few. Oh, here comes the caramel cereal bar. These are very similar, if not identical, to the Norwegian Norwegian Field Arctic rations. Um, they have a very similar uh, granola bar product. It's, uh, I don't know how to describe it. Moist, flavorful, and whole grain. I love them. And caramel Delicious. And very caramelly. Well, well said, Lily. Well said. Thank you. <laughs> and I have no idea what you are. Ah. Excellently. What or is a penny, that? thank you. Um that that's kind of like a dehydrated cereal bar. Hey Penny, that that's cute. Thank you for the, the added sounds, but it was basically uh like a fruit wrap or a fruit roll up uh condensed into a little dehydrated bar. It was really good. They weren't as uh artificially flavored or sweetened as American products, so it it I don't know, it was good. I used those tissues. Those tissues are wonderful. Yeah, you did use them, huh? They're good. They're in my bedroom. <laughs> there was so many left over that we were able to uh, have extra. It was good. So here's our main course uh, for the first round. This was the cold water added to the yogurt and cereal. So this is basically like a morning cereal with milk and a fresh yogurt. Now, now I have to add, this was quite impressive because this is an instant yogurt that you're looking at here. Super fluffy, super uh, dense like you would expect a regular yogurt to have it and it also has that fresh enzyme kind of bite kind of like that um how would you describe it? like almost like a sour sour cream bite to it it was super amazing i was super impressed with this it had no sugar in it at all though so it was like a uh, unsweetened yogurt so you definitely would have wanted to add some sugar to this when you added the water it did not taste very yummy to me well you're used to very very sweet yogurts you're used to like yeah. a vanilla yogurt or yeah. what have you yeah but you still tried it and you, and you i, I yeah. appreciate you even trying it i made a very yummy face you know that would have been a huge mis oh see i tried the nutella right there that sweetened yeah. it up very nice um it would have been a huge mistake to make this yogurt with hot water it would have been mm. uh inedible at um, that point honestly the cold water was the way to go with this i'm very sorry that i I ate all the chocolate, Father. No, don't worry about that, honey. You really liked Nutella, and I was like, oh, there goes breakfast, and here's a lunch. <laughs> good job, girls. Good job. Thank you for the help. And I missed what that was because I was saying good job. Uh, what was that? Oh, here we go. Nice, cuz it. Got it. And water, too. Here. 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 What do you say, Lily? Water! It's a boiling water up to that point. A boiling water fire. up to that point. Not too much fire. No, fire, no, no. lava. That's too loud. I want you to zip it up and chicken right here. Chicken it up. Daddy, steam on my hand, Father. I spit all over the camera. It was horrible. <laughs> all right, so then we got one more shake. Uh, we got about 10 minutes later. Oh, we're doing lunchtime here. We're doing another fruit bar here. I think this is the fruit and nut bar. Emily. Again, tasted exactly like the other one. Kind of like a cherry strawberry bar with a little bit of nuts. That was about it. Oh, here we go. Toffee bar. These these are I'm really excited about. These were very similar to the Spanish oh, breakfast. I've had one of those before. You, you sent me did. One. They were excellent. The Spanish, mm -hmm. they're like a, a nougat bar is the best way to describe it. Yeah. They're really good. Oui. Really dense. Super flavorful. Super nutritious. Ooh. The oui. mint chocolate bar. You see, you could have an entire emery like similar to the Spanish breakfast tin with about six of these in there. Oh, You'd be set. They're, they're great. They're not that thirst provoking. They're super nutritious. Really filling quite small they don't melt when you keep them in your pocket like there's a really well designed uh protein bar <gasps> here we go <laughs> add it into the cup and we're also doing a fire tonight i think that's six ounces of hot water going in there nobody knows ever oh oh there's the there's the chime there's the chime so there's a little hot chocolate let's test it out delicious Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. 
So this one we did add the hot water to. This is the oatmeal mm. with milk and fruit, mixed fruit. Yeah. Hey, Penny. So, uh, yeah, see that background noise? Doesn't really help. If you have something to say about how delicious the what? fruit chunks were, it was good. It was like huge chunks of apple. Looks like milk. Well, it didn't just have granola. It had like oats and other amazing things in it. And when we added the hot water to this, we did add two packets of sugar. Oh. It so it turned out perfect. I thought that was one of the best uh, breakfast dishes we had. It yeah. tasted delicious. Oh, man, these oh. sunflower seeds are epic. The, the same company makes these roasted barbecued peanuts that we had in the meal number two. Mm. Amazing. so good. And I think we got them on here, too. I think we put them on the dinner tray, not on the lunch tray. But those sunflower seeds were awesome. And those are like 36 grams of protein per serving. It, it's huge. Sunflower seeds are ridiculously high uh, in protein and nutrition. I love them. All in all, this has uh, been an amazing uh, lunch. And here comes the lemon candy. I always love these boiled sweets. Super good. I love them. I broke off a chunk for Penny and for Robbie. What did you think about the flavor, Penny? It tasted like chocolate. No, it didn't. It tasted like a delicious fresh lemon. Chocolate. Um, Lily, even though you didn't taste it, how did it taste to you? I don't know. I didn't taste it. <laughs> ah, honesty counts. No, oh, and hey, it looks like we're going into a dinner. <laughs> No, this pasta dish was top-notch. The cheesy potatoes were amazing. All right, I'm going to stop saying what they were going to be, but they're going to be great. There's a little cake. There's a little chocolate powder. What can we do with those two things? Hmm. So let's see. Here we got the last protein bar. The chocolate bar. The last isotonic beverage. I believe that's the apple. And the classic mix sequence. Appreciate the help, Robbie. Good boy, good boy. Lacking the uh, hand-eye coordination that he... Oh, oops. Nice, yes. So those peanuts are amazing. I'll get back to those. But right now, let's go ahead and go... Pasta. It's a pasta. It's super good. You mix it up. It's really good. Lily soup and bears now. Here we go. It's a chocolate cake. Orange cake! Jesus, who's that guy singing? All right, now this cake's pretty amazing. Super moist. I've had one of these before. Uh, I know it's I know it's a winner. There, there's there's no so loss in this. Look at that. Look at the moisture. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Amazing. Seriously. Mm -hmm. You're thinking, right? Like, it, it, the best way to describe this is fresh baked cake. Honestly, it, the, the, cake, the shelf staple cake in this ration is amazing. Chocolate bar, excellent. The The texture on it was interesting with the shape, but uh, whatever. So here comes uh, one of our side dishes, the cheesy potatoes. No joke, dude. Look at the cheese strand. There's, there's like huge chunks of dehydrated Parmesan cheese in there. Big old wedges of tomato, a little cream sauce, garlic, what have you, fresh herbs. Amazing. And this tomato-based uh, pasta with uh, hints of garlic... It, Honestly, as simple as it was, it was crazy flavorful. It's all in the sauce. The wow, pasta was really excellent. Good. But the sauce was just a spot of on. It's got it's and in it. had like a, uh, a little bit of a sun dried tomato flavor going. Mm. So that high, that like high flavor, really um, high tomato nodes, wow. low acidity. Uh, pasta was a perfect texture. I like the uh, shape of the noodles, so it really retained a lot of the sauce on it. And then these uh, cheesy potatoes, you know, uh, later Candy dibbed the rest of the portion for herself. I added about another quarter cup of water and microwaved them for about 20 seconds, and they came out perfect. These ones, I would say, were just uh, slightly al dente, but the flavor was there. The texture was there. Super good comfort food dish. And again, look at that pasta. The pasta is amazing. It's almost like a lasagna-style uh, pasta. That entree right there, I could have like 50 of those on the shelf and not regret a single one of them. I'd be stoked to eat those. Two or three times a week. No joke. <laughs> a simple simple uh, spice revolver or a little uh, dried spices, a little hot sauce would completely change that dish every time you ate it. Super versatile, really good. Yeah, between that and the au gratin and potatoes, uh, the cake for dessert with the chocolate bar and the other sides, this was a really well-rounded, super hearty, well-portioned uh, ration. Really impressed with it. Unfortunately, the av availability of these uh, to us here in the United States are... They, they get to be about 50, 60 bucks a pop to get them shipped here. They're, they're really expensive, so uh, 
not quite on the avail availability chart. You're not going to be getting a pallet of these, so to say. I was really treated, uh, really happy to get this. Really appreciate you, uh, Philip, for sending this to us. So this right here, I'm, I'm going to attempt to do about four ounces of water for the chocolate beverage and try to turn it in kind of like a frosting or like a dip for the cake. I want to do a little little hack here and see if I can't alter it a little bit. Let's get a little burnt out in the chocolate milk. So we already had one that was hot. This one's supposed to be served cold. So we thought we should do it a frosting style. And, and I honestly thought it turned out great. That portion of potatoes is ridiculous. I just want to state that right now. That's all I'm going to say. All right, so the chocolate mix, uh, even though it was really thick with very little water, it's still, oh, that cake is amazing. Cake is super moist, it's super delish. Dipped into the chocolate, you can't go wrong with an orange chocolate cake. Even the kid liked that. I think she kind of hogged it, to be honest. And by the way, both my daughters would be commenting, but I think they made it about, uh, I think 12 minutes in, and they were done, so. <laughs> Uh, they appreciate eating the MREs and have fun doing it to a certain extent. But then I, I think it's kind of a, a dad thing. So, all right, it's all good. But again, that that, that was an amazing spread. Crazy potatoes, crazy good uh, spaghetti, if you want to call it that. Tomato red sauce. Protein bar, top notch. Those uh, Everything on this dish is going away, basically. I'm going to be eating all this as soon as the camera goes off. That's the only thing I didn't try was that candy right there. Yeah, shame. Still sitting on my counter. I'll try it one of these nights. It's quarantine zone, you know how it goes. Everything in the cupboards are gonna get cleared out here in the next month, so. We got leftover pasta still, pa -chow. Man, I honestly wish I had about 15 of these sitting in my cupboard right now. That'd be amazing. This whole coronavirus scare has been uh, an interesting uh, challenge for everybody. We're all doing our part and staying home and doing the best we can. So here's my last video. I filmed this about a week ago. Finally had a chance to do the voiceover. Honestly, my favorite entree to date. Uh, I, I finally got over the funk myself, and I'm now doing better, so. Dope ass Spice Revolver! There wasn't one in this one, but I still love those things. Just want to bring mention to that. Hey, my coffee, is, my coffee instant collection of the world's doing great. I appreciate all your help, everyone, for uh, adding to the collection. And again, Philip, you're the man. Appreciate you sending us these wonderful treats from Sweden. Appreciate you, buddy. Oh, hey, that's right. This is our Facebook page. Hey, you guys, uh, up on Facebook, uh, Animal Free Anna Marie, I put up a little questionnaire. Hey, what, what ration would you guys like to see us review next? And we had a few people respond. I did a little video spread there. Appreciate you guys responding. John and Toby, you guys are great. Appreciate you both. Can't catch Corona if you're the illest.